Hi, I'm Brett Cyclic from Prime Wellness of Connecticut, located in South Windsor. Cannabis has been used as a medicine since the beginning of recorded history. In the last 40 years, the scientific studies and research of cannabis has progressed rapidly and is affirming that cannabis is useful as a medicine. On this episode of Inside Medical Cannabis, we visit a state-of-the-art lab where the purity and potency of cannabis products are tested for patient safety and compliance with Connecticut medical cannabis regulations. We're here with Jose Zavaleta of Pure Analytics in New Britain, Connecticut, one of the testing laboratories for the medical cannabis industry in the state of Connecticut. Jose, how long have you guys been here for? We've been here since 2013, started developing the space. In November 2013, we were awarded our control substance license. And how many uh, facilities are you currently testing for? Uh, we're testing for three of the four facilities in the program. We're testing all the product lines, all the way from obviously flour to tinctures to edibles, you know, different kinds of concentrates, V pens. What kind of things are you testing for exactly? We test for, most importantly, for the quality of the product. We test for microbial contamination, uh, things like pesticides, heavy metals. We test for terpenes, cannabinoids. All the producers want to make sure that their product meets the uh, pharmaceutical grade standard that the program has set for them. Is that standard consistent with other medical cannabis programs around the country or is that unique to Connecticut? Connecticut right now currently is the only market where pharmaceutical grade testing standards have been established. The product that is available to patients here in Connecticut is definitely pharmaceutical grade. So Connecticut is very unique in, in that aspect. If it's being bought at a dispensary, patients can be reassured that there's no contamination on that product whatsoever. All right, Jose, let's go check out the lab and see how all the testing is done. Absolutely, let's go. The testing process starts with lab technicians visiting the cultivation facility and collecting samples. The batch amount and sample size differs for every type of product. For example, flowers only require a randomly selected eight gram representative sample for every five pound batch. The lab uses many measures and tools to ensure samples aren't contaminated in the field. Jose, what happens after you bring back the samples? So after we bring back the sample, we put them on our log sheets for inventory. After that, um, we started the weighing process in this area. This is a air clean PCR workstation that keeps everything inside sterile. We use two different balances for the different tests that we do. For example, for flour, we use three grams to do microbiology testing. For uh, tinctures, we use one gram. From inorganic chemistry, for heavy metals, we use 0.4. So as you can see, different tests require different amounts. So after we weigh this out here, then we distribute it to the different labs where we actually do the testing. We're here with Melanie at the inorganic uh, portion of the lab where what are you guys testing for here? Well, here we test for the heavy metals, and heavy metals are anything that's cancer causing. So for us, it's the arsenic, the cadmium, the mercury, and the lead that could be possibly in your product. What kind of machinery will you use to um, you know, determine whether or not there's heavy metals in a sample? Well, what we do is uh, we take the cannabis sample and we put it into our microwave digester, which basically eats away all the material and hopefully what's left is just the metals that you're interested in. And then we take that and we transfer it over here to our, our MS detector. And it basically takes the metals and heats it up to a really high temperature, almost to a plasma state. And it also adds an electrical charge to that. And based on the mass of the atoms and the charge, it measures how much is there. And the scale that you guys are testing on, it's not a parts per million, it's actually a parts per billion, It's correct? parts per billion, yes, because those, those cancer-causing elements should be really low. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to make you sick. So. Yeah, and have you guys found any samples with uh, heavy metals in terms of contamination? No, what we found is very, very low, well below the limits. So we're now here with Evelina, and what room are we in right now? We are currently in the microbiology lab. Okay, and we're testing for what exactly? 
So here we test for total yeast and mold counts and total aerobic counts. So in the total yeast and mold, we look for microorganisms such as penicillium, fusarium, candida albicans. And in the total aerobic count, we look for Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, and E. coli and organisms like that. All pretty dangerous contaminations. So if patients were to, you know, happen to get medicine that had those type of contaminants, probably wouldn't be so good for them. Exactly, yep. Great. So we want to make sure that we either don't have it or they're in smaller counts. All the other rooms that we've walked through today have helped patients understand and know that the products that they're purchasing are clean to a pharmaceutical standard and safe for consumption. This is the room where patients are gonna really understand the potency and the potential effect that the medicine is gonna provide once they ingest it. So tell us a little bit about this room and, and what we're testing for. So here's the OCHEM lab. All your potency and terpene testing is done here, where we give you the potency percentages, the terpene percentages that you have for back patients. The Organic Chemistry Lab uses a variety of equipment to determine the potency of the sample, which allows a pharmacist or patient to better understand the potential effects and symptomatic relief the medicine will provide. Terpenes are aromatic chemical compounds found in all plants, especially cannabis, which provides unique aromas such as earthy, spicy, fruity, herbal, or floral. New science is discovering terpenes might provide their own or synergistic medicinal benefits when combined with cannabinoids. Wow, Jose, that was an incredible experience. Thank you so much for allowing us to come in here and, and see kind of behind the scenes of what goes on in the analytical labs. I think it should be very, very reassuring for patients to you know, know and understand that the medicine that they're getting is of a pharmaceutical standard and quality. That's unlike any other medical cannabis program around the country. So, you know, not only should patients, physicians, and even their families feel reassured that, you know, they're really gonna be ingesting things that are gonna be beneficial for them and not contain anything that's gonna be harmful. Thank you again, really appreciate it. You're welcome.